All right, in this video, I'm gonna break down the entire business model that I use right now to make $30,000 a month in profit. And I wanna be very clear, I have a promise to you, okay? My promise to you in this video is there's absolutely no BS, there's no fluff, this is straight up everything that I've done to build a 30K a month profit consulting business. Now, if you're wondering, can you even start a consulting or coaching business in the first place? There's one golden rule that you need to follow. You have to have done the thing that you're teaching other people. So you have to have some sort of skill. Okay, my skill happens to be in running my marketing agency where I got really good at sending cold DMs and closing clients and that was the skill that I went and taught other people. So if you have a similar skill, you're following the freaking golden rule and you could build a 30K a month profit co uh, consulting or coaching business too. So let's go ahead and dive into step one. Now, step one in building this business and the first thing that I did is I got clear on my offer, my messaging and my pricing. So what does this look like? When it comes to the offer, you need to figure out who your dream client is because you're gonna tailor all of your content, all of your coaching material towards that dream client. And the way that I did this is by giving your dream client a name. You see, most people don't niche down enough. People will say, hey, you know, I'm helping agency owners scale. No, you wanna give your dream client a name and more than likely your dream client is a previous version of yourself. So you could just say, you know, the old Jacob, the old Christian is my dream client. And then you want to describe both tangibly and intangibly, what are the traits of this old version of you that you're gonna consult and help uh, the problems they have in their business. Okay, so I had to get very clear, tangible traits. How much money was I making um, back when I needed my own coaching and consulting services? So again, figure this out for yourself. How much money were you making? What's your age? Um, where are you from? All di these different things and intangible, what were you like? So your personality, what are your hobbies? What are your interests? And you can see I have that right here as the third point for figuring out your dream client. What are your interests and hobbies? Because what you're gonna find out is your actual dream client is someone that is very similar to you, right? I like to go to the gym, I like to eat steak, I like to go to church. These are things that I like to do. And it just so happens that all of my clients are the exact same way. And I didn't do that by accident. It's because I tailored my content and everything we're gonna cover in step two for that. Now, the next thing we have to figure out is what is your A to B transformation? Okay, the first question you ask yourself are what are the problems that you're gonna be solving? So again, list out very clearly, point A, what is the current situation and the problems that your dream client has? And then what you wanna do is pick a current situation that you used to be in. Okay, again, like we just covered. So again, figure out what are the problems that you're solving and then figure out what your B is. What is the transformation that you're selling? If your current situation for your dream client is that they're stuck at 5K a month in an agency, then the B, the end transformation that you could sell them is how to go from 5K to 15K a month as an example. You wanna have it very clearly displayed on what your transformation is because if you don't have a transformation, people aren't just gonna pay you for coaching calls. People want to pay for a transformation in their life and in their business. Now, the next step here is to figure out what your big idea is. Some people call this their unique mechanism. Other people call this, like Russell Brunson calls this uh, his new opportunity. This is the thing that's gonna make you different. So if you're going and selling um, in your consulting business how to help agency owners scale, there's a ton of people that are helping agency owners scale. So what is the thing in your agency that made you different? And I have an example right here. You might not be able to read this, but an example is with my client, Jacob. Okay, Jacob makes $126,000 a month in his agency, and he does that by charging $1 up front. Okay, that's, that's a really cool big idea that most people aren't doing, and that makes you wonder, how is he able to do this? How is he making all this money if he's only charging $1? When people go and sign up for Jacob's coaching, they're also gonna copy his model, and they're gonna charge a dollar, uh, a dollar up front so they can get the same result that Jacob did. So figure out what your big idea is. What is the thing that makes you different? Is it your acquisition channel? Are you a master at cold DMs? Are you really good at content? Are you really good at running ads? Those are things that you could sell as your big idea. And the final piece is figuring out your pricing. Okay, now we have WRR or a PIF. These are both things that I've done. What WRR is, is weekly recurring revenue. So that is what I currently do in my business right now. I'm focused on stacking recurring revenue every single month, so I don't have to start every single month in a place of scarcity and chasing clients starting from zero every month. So again, if you're gonna go with the weekly recurring revenue option, 
what you're going to do is you're going to charge weekly and what this is going to allow is your clients are able to give a low commitment to go ahead and get started working with you Okay, again, you're going to stack recurring revenue. Obviously, there's pros and cons to both. Cons of doing weekly recurring revenue is that you're going to collect less cash up front. And that leads me to a PIF. Okay, if you don't know what a PIF is, it means paid in full. And for this, you could charge anywhere from two to 10 to 15, $50,000 up front. And that's also a viable model that I've used. Right now, I'm focused on recurring revenue. So you can go ahead and figure out your pricing with either option there. Now, when it comes to step two, Let's get to the fun stuff, right? We're talking about traffic and conversions. How are we gonna turn strangers into paying clients? What am I currently doing to turn strangers into paying clients? What I'm focused on is attracting leads. I don't wanna chase down a client ever again. I did that in my marketing agency enough times and I'm, I'm done with that. So I needed to figure out how am I going to attract these dream clients that we got clear on into my business, into my world. Well, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to choose one organic channel. So again, this could be Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube, TikTok, whatever it is. But what I specifically focus on is YouTube. And the reason my clients and I focus on making YouTube content is because it increases time to trust. Time to trust is how long somebody needs to be exposed to you in order to go from a stranger into somebody that you know. It's the same way how if you ran up to somebody on the side of the street, they're a stranger until you have an hour long conversation with them and now you guys might be friends and now they might be more open to buying your thing. Okay, so choose one organic channel. I love making YouTube videos and then in your videos, you also wanna sell people on you. You don't just wanna be a presenter of information. You wanna have a personality behind it because everybody's just presenting information. So what's gonna make you different from all of your competitors? It's allowing your clients and your audience to choose you and buy into you as a person. So that's step one. The next step is to pre-sell your leads. This is the most important part. This is the same reason uh, a lot of people don't do this, and that's why most content creators are broke, to be honest. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make YouTube VSLs, right? You should know what a VSL is. It's a video sales letter. It's made to sell people on your thing. And these YouTube VSLs are going to pre-handle the objections in your prospect's mind before actually booking a call and working with you. So you're gonna make this uh, YouTube video that's um, kind of masked as an educational piece of content, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna sell them your big idea, your unique mechanism, and you're also going to handle objections. How do you do that? Great question, right? Well, you're gonna write down what are the possible reasons and things that would stop somebody from paying me $500 a week or $5,000 right now. Write that down and then make content to handle those objections. It's very easy because you know what objections you would have had that would have stopped you from working with present you, if that makes sense. So once you make uh, YouTube VSLs, you now have attention generating mechanism in the YouTube videos uh, that we have here above. And then you also have the YouTube VSLs to convert these leads. The next part is the actual conversion itself. How are they booking calls with you, getting on sales calls? I do two different things. I keep it very simple. The first is Instagram DMs. I get a lot of clients that come from Instagram, even though they found me on YouTube. And the way that I do it is by giving a, a call to action in, in the description of my videos or in a pinned comment to go onto my Instagram and ask me questions. Now I get people to come and DM me on Instagram. I ask them a couple of questions back and forth. I get them on a call and I close them. The second way to do that is by getting what are called auto bookings, right? It's just putting your Calendly link or putting your landing page in the description of your video, sending traffic to there where you could have a separate VSL on there and you can get auto book sales calls from that. I focus on simplicity. I'm not trying to build a complicated complex funnel that doesn't get results. Okay, after that, what you're gonna experience, once you've done this correctly, you've made enough YouTube videos, you've made enough YouTube VSLs, and you're converting people into DMs and by getting auto book sales calls, you're gonna experience what are called enrollment calls. Okay, enrollment calls are not sales calls. I don't take sales calls. The only calls I get on are with people that are ready to go to buy my thing. That's why I have almost a 70% closing rate on my sales calls. This might sound like crazy to you, but it's true. You don't need five, six sales calls a day to get to 30K a month. You can get there with a couple calls a day, okay? 
All right, so now we're gonna go to the final step, which is delivery. So this is how we get client results. This is what the entire back end of my consulting business looks like. And what I follow is a one-on-one -on -one consulting model. Now, if you're thinking about getting into coaching, a lot of people tell you don't do one-on-one, -on -one, right? You wanna build a scalable group program. But you know, if you've ever been in a group coaching program, they suck. They actually suck. You get on calls, you don't get your questions answered. Nobody's giving you direct help. I've never had a good experience in a program like that. My best mentor ever was a one-on-one -on -one coach and I wanted my clients to have that same experience. So after doing this for a year, I've been able to figure out a one-on-one -on -one model that still allows me to scale to 30K a month without having to take 10 calls a day with clients. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna run some numbers for you uh, as well. If your goal is 30K a month in profit, this is what it kind of entails. The first thing we have is one-on-one -on -one and group calls. So how many one-on-one -on -one calls are you gonna take with clients? Well, let's run these numbers. If you're charging $500 a week to help another agency, uh, another agency owner scale, let's say you're charging 500 a week, you would need 15 clients to make $7,500 a week. You multiply that times four weeks and you're at 30K a month in profit. So if you have 15 clients, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one 30 minute call with them every single week. So you do 15 clients times 30 minutes and you divide that by 60. That means you're gonna be doing seven and a half hours of coaching per week. That's it. So your whole delivery process is seven and a half hours per week. That's one working day to get to 30K a month and that's what I'm doing right now. So if you're in an agency, you know, you, like that probably blew your mind. That's all that we're doing, seven and a half hours of work. You're probably doing that for one client right now, okay? And then I also host a group call every single week with the entire community because that's the second pillar. You can look at this like three pillars, right? The first is coaching, one-on-one -on -one every week plus one group call. The second is community where you build this tribe, you build this, this group of people that are all like-minded to you and eventually over time, your consulting business will have a lot of the value in the community itself when you have killer guys in there that help each other out. So that's pillar one, pillar two is community and pillar three all the way over here is curriculum. Okay, if you're getting started, you don't need to go build a course. All you could do is simply host one-on-one -on -one calls, but as you go to scale, what you're gonna find is that people are going to be asking you the same questions over and over. Hey Christian, how do I do this? Hey Christian, what do I do for this? And once you understand, okay, like everybody needs to know uh, the answer to this question, everybody needs to do this, this, and this to get to that B transformation that you're selling, you could start building a course going through your entire process, okay? These are the only three pillars you need to follow. It's a very, very simple model. For me right now, I'm doing seven and a half hours of coaching per week, and the rest of my time is focused on step two that we went on above, which is traffic via YouTube videos. With that being said, that's the entire model that I'm currently using. Um, if you'd like my help to get the same result that I've gotten, to build the same type of business that I've built, that brings me 30K a month in profit. I coach for seven and a half hours a week and I just create simple content that lets me be at a 93% profit margin in my business. If you wanna skip that learning curve, get a one-on-one -on -one mentor inside my program, Spartan Scaling. Join other guys like KJ, 60K a month, Jacob, 126K a month, Joseph, 46K a month. My guys are printing. If you wanna be in that room, you want my direct one-on-one -on -one help, you wanna skip the learning curve of how to figure out YouTube, how to figure out the back end, how to figure out how to actually coach clients and all the problems that come with it, I've been there, I've solved those problems for myself so that I could solve them for you faster, so again, this is my call to action to you. I want you to go below somewhere here, book a call with me. I'd love the opportunity to work with you and help you scale this thing. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you found this one valuable. Peace out.